Welcome back, it's Paul Maglev here, and I wanted to, uh, get back to you guys on a little game they call Train Belly! And the reason I wanted to do that is because there's a new patch, and the game is finally available on Steam. At least, that's what the email I got told me, so... Yeah, I tried to do a recording of that earlier, it didn't quite work out like I planned. So I'm just gonna do it over again, because why not? And then I can actually talk straight and not have to worry about losing my train of thought. Anyway, let's get started. We're heading all the way over to Russia in this patch. Let's see. Do not destroy objects with a total worth value of 10 grand. Dispatch at least 5 additional trains and build up to 48 pieces of track. Not much has really changed in this game so far. However, there are the new levels that I did mention. And I will... Oh, dang it. I still need to c change the controls. So let's see. So first things first. I tried to change the controls. So that I could more easily... What's the word? So I could more easily take care of... Uh, hold on, let me change the volume a bit. There we go. Actually, no, wait a minute. I need to change it over here. There we go. I... Oh, I'm so unprofessional. Anyway. Oh boy. Gonna have to build another set of tracks. So, first things first, I wanted to let you guys know that in this new patch there are new models for trains and rail cars and stuff. There's also other stuff too, like the music. There's new. What else is new? There's the new levels, new sounds, new uh, textures and stuff. And the other thing that's really new that I wanted to mention is that each world has its own unique locomotives. Something that wasn't available in the previous patch. Uh, point zero, no, zero point seven point three. That's right. And I would have changed the controls like I was trying to say earlier, but unfortunately it wouldn't let me do that because the default settings just went back to the default settings because screw me. Hmm, I think I can afford to do this at twice the normal speed because everything's going slowly enough. And it looks like this town is going to be really popular. There's already this train heading over here. There was the other train heading over. We can send this train over now. Oh, there's another one that's coming right after it, going in the same direction. How pleasant. So anyway, a bit of a personal update, which is what I wanted to get back to. I got a job! So now I actually feel like I'm useful for something. I'm working on campus at my school. I'm watering plants, of all things. I had been trying to apply for jobs before, but it didn't quite work out. But then this job just kind of fell into my lap when I was asking some questions around on campus in the science building, and apparently there was a position available to care for the plants that are used in the science labs. Uh, for like Bio 1A, Bio 1B, Introduction, uh, Botany, or whatever it is. And it's actually really nice because I have a flexible schedule and stuff. Sure, I only get paid every so often, and I haven't even gotten my pay check because this game is. this uh, job is so new. But that's okay because. I thought I switched to this setting. There we go. Yeah, 
These trains are going a lot faster than I suspected. There we go. So I get to work on my own terms, on my own time, getting about 10 to 20 hours in a week. 20 hours at most. I'm not allowed on campus to work more than 20 hours for some reason. I can't imagine why. Maybe it's because they don't have to give people benefits if they only work part-time. Not that I really care though, because this is a part-time job, so... I'm not worried. And it was really nice because everybody I'm working with is really uh, caring and diplomatic. We're all in it together, and we're all in it to uh, get the plants ready and happy and healthy for all of the exams and stuff uh, that are taking place around this time, as well as uh, the remaining few labs that are left for the courses. And there we have it! Oh, I didn't dispatch any additional trains. So yeah, I got a new job, eventually I'm going to get my first paycheck, and things are going to be really good. I feel they're really good right now. Let's see, do not allow a train to arrive at the wrong station, like I did last time. I make no guarantees, my friend. Earn at least $120,000. I think I did that previously, but I don't think I'll be able to do it this time. Uh. Dispatch seven additional trains. Sure, I could do that. Something that kind of makes me feel a little weird is that this level is basically just a reskinning of a previous level, if my memory is correct. And if anything at all, I should be disappointed. But the fact that they were able to completely change the backgrounds and everything is uh, fairly pleasant. Anyway, it seems... Oh. I've been trying to wonder where we are at the moment, because we're next to a prison. We're out in the middle of scenic nowhere in the oil fields. I would say we'd be at the moment in Siberia, because that's where the gulags were. And it is 1924, so... I guess that claim is justified? I don't know. One of the other sounds I like that they added to this patch was the introduction of a train in a station, which is just a single little bell. It's actually very pleasant, a lot more pleasant than the sound they used before that, I think. I can't remember what it was before. I'll have to check some of my previous episodes. Or I can go back and check some of the previous patches of the game because I still have those downloaded on my computer. Most games don't let you do that, but this game does, so long as you actually had early access like I did. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there's a UFO over here. It, I think it's funny that it was there. And the last time I played this, I completely overlooked that it was there, and then I just realized at the last minute, hey, there's something there. And it's a UFO, because fudge. Somehow they didn't manage to harbor that technology for their own uses. I appear to be sending the train to the wrong station. I'm just going to build this over here, build this here. Turn this baby around. out here. No, I shouldn't make investments. The taxes are really high in these levels. It would be a very dangerous gamble. Let's see here. Out of force of habit. 
turn this train around. I don't think I'm making enough profits to actually build the infrastructure I need. Is this gonna work out? I certainly hope so. Let's see, let's send this train out this way. Here. Yeah, I think this is working out. No! I I went bankrupt again, dang it. I gotta be really careful with my money. Cause like seriously. Oh nope. Build it like this, thank you. Let's see, there we go. And advanced trains also cost money, like they did in the previous patch, which is kind of a bummer. But the actual price changes over time, I don't remember seeing that previously. So I guess I'll just have to sit around and wait. Wait, I just lost my train of thought again. Dang it. What was I trying to say? It was complete gibberish. Another another thing they added, they added uh, headlights, which is a nice addition. I gotta stop mentioning all of the stuff they added in this patch. Looks like Town D is really popular again. Let's see. Build it like this. Then like this. There we go. Is there anything else I needed to do? Let's see, we'll switch this over here. Pleasant. Everything seems to be working in a uh, fairly decent order. Or fashion, I should say. Everything's working out just fine. Hopefully, there won't be a conflict of interest here. I could see this being an issue. And then it wasn't. And then it was. My mistake. Let's back this puppy up. Yeah, that should do. I think I'm making enough cash to make some other infrastructure investments. Let's send this train over here. Perfect. And we're almost done with the level, so we haven't screwed up yet. Nope! Denied. He was so not going to the wrong station, my friend. Do I have enough cash? I'm not gonna risk it.
that's it. I think that's the level. And now when... Oh. Did I send a train of... I thought it was heading... Oh! I had a brain fart. Um... Why did I think it was going this way? And it was clearly going the other way. Or it needed to go the other way, I should say. So I didn't meet any of the objectives, but I finished the level, and that's really what matters. And now that I've wrapped this up, I'll go and uh, see you guys in the next episode. And until then, take it easy and stay awesome. <laughs>